Here we are with Wade Ondra, an absolute legend in the announcing business. What a beautiful day to start off this 410 Knoxville Nationals. I think legend means old, doesn't it? Isn't that the way? Look, it looks a little bit dodgy right now, but I'm sure we're going to be okay. Maybe like not right now, but I'm sure we'll be okay. And, and you know the team will work hard. This track team is incredible. They'll get this thing rolling back in if we need to. But right now, it's just gently watering the track, AJ. Eh, Exactly. We're just they're saving some they're saving the water bill so that way they don't have to keep the push trucks and just trying to save money at all costs. But you've got a pretty busy week coming up in these next four days. You wanna explain a bit of what's going on? Well, uh, it started out um, a couple nights ago, as you know, went out to English Creek Speedway, a little one six mile place that you announced at to see some carts and got my son Liam in the, that cool Tygo factory ride, which is very cool. Um, tonight is really about you know doing the infield stuff, gathering stories, presenting them to the fans, and having fun. I think that everyone looks to me as the go fun, have fun guy. So that's my job. I think that's not a bad thing to be, right? That's probably the best thing to be. And what's some of the craziest stories you've heard so far? And who should we go interview? Oh, look, I think anytime you uh, that man over our shoulder just there with the ponytail, anytime you talk to Jason Sides, you're guaranteed. Something crazy is going to happen. Uh, Dusty Zoma is always good fun. I mean, when you look through the pits, I love the human aspect of our sport. The race cars are cool, but everyone's got one of them. I, I like more the human and the flesh and blood element, like fast Freddie Raymers just back there, the Pennsylvania legend, and this bloke right here that just took my phone and probably spent up all my money. Look at that. I'll, I'll give you the excellent news. I'll give you the bill later. So that's what I love about our sport, mate, is that the, the legends and the newcomers and some old bloke named Skip Jackson there with your little brother. So. Legends everywhere here. I know this exactly, and there's a heck of a lot of Australians here racing this year as well, which is kind of, which is not, which is normal. But we got in a surprising amount this year as opposed to normal years. And not only racing, but legitimate contenders. I think if you throw, you look at how hot Jamie Veal has been at this place. Every time he's been here this year so far, James McFadden as well. Throw him into the mix. We know Kerry Madsen's fast. Ian Madsen's won a couple of mains here. He's been strong in his 360. So I think we're half a chance to get a podium again this year with Aussies. And then you can't forget Brooke Tatnell. We'll see if he's got something left in his tank. He's been a legend in Australia. He's run an up and down season, but we'll see if he's got something for this Knoxville Nationals coming up now. Well, he, he's dug deep, as always. Brooke, Brooke performs best when he's back. He's against the wall, I think, you know. So the cool part about Brooke is he's, fought, he's got involved. He's bought the team, uh, had someone buy the team, and the guys have got right behind him. He's sort of running the deal for himself now. So I think you're right. We're going to see a rejuvenated Brooke Tatnell. It's going to be a heck of a 410 Knoxville Nationals. The rain's starting to come down now. I think we ought to go get some cover and have a bite to eat. Oh, no, it's nice out here. Let's just chug a couple of five-hour energies. They're really good. Yeah, if you try one of them, they're good. Five-hour energy. You need to get on board those. Chug one down, you'll be good for at least five hours. And the grape one does taste like Kool-Aid, and it's pretty good. Absolutely. Looking forward to it, AJ. Night one of the five-hour energy Knoxville Nationals. Woohoo! Here we go.